You know, through my whole life, uh, I struggled with weight, you know, from the time I was a, a child on up to adulthood. And after I had my second daughter, I was the heaviest I'd ever been and uh, just not feeling, you know, not, not feeling like I was the mom that I wanted to be. I couldn't keep up with them. Um, I just struggled doing everyday type things. And so I knew that I, I needed I needed some help and I kind of had looked into some of the weight loss surgeries but um, it just it scared me the idea of having surgery and you know having having my my two children and what if something happened and, and all of that so uh, the balloon seemed like a less invasive way to accomplish the same goal uh, I was amazed at just how smooth of a process it was you know the whole procedure each time took you know just about 15 minutes uh, I could go in over a lunch break at work and you know, swallow the balloon, have the procedure, uh, and feel fine the rest of the day. So uh, I really had no side effects. There, there wasn't anything, um, you know, that I experienced in that way. And uh, it, it was amazing just how quick and, and painless the procedure was. But within six months, I learned so much about myself and about kind of, you know, best practices for this and how I was going to continue to maintain it afterward. Because um, that was my initial, you know, concern when I first learned about it was, well, what happens when the balloons come out? Um, you know, I wanted to make sure that whatever I was doing was was maintained and repeatable after the balloons. And so that six month period, I, I learned a ton about nutrition. I learned a lot about fitness and a lot about portion control and, um, you know, just macros and, and you know, caloric intake and all of these things that, you know, are part of my life now and, and not having, um, and kind of having the balloons really helped me uh, take it seriously, I guess, for those six months. Because again, I've, I've done this throughout my life. I've, I've done diets and I've done fad things, but I guess I never really took it seriously uh, as, as much as I did when I had the balloons. My favorite part has been the non-scale victories. I mean, it's been fun to watch the weight come off for sure, but um, you know, the first time I was able to fly on a plane and not have to ask for the seatbelt extender, I mean, who, who would have thought, you know, that was such a powerful moment. I remember sitting on the plane, like tearing up thinking about it. It was about 270, 272 uh, was, was my heaviest. And today I'm 184. I have like nine more pounds to lose so I can hit that like 100 pound mark. So I'm like, I'm ready for that. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that to happen. <laughs> I think my advice would just be just you know start learn more start something don't wait for next monday don't wait for january 1st do something now take the steps um, you know live every day and every meal uh, by meal every day by day take it small and just continue to repeat those behaviors and those actions